In the smartphones we use every day, there are hundreds and even thousands of chips. Among them, the one people care about the most is definitely the processor because it uh, determines how powerful your phone is and whether games can run smoothly. But is buying an expensive flagship phone the only way to improve the uh, gaming experience? Of course not. The uh, Realme P4 Pro in my hand is only equipped with a Snapdragon 7 Gen 4 processor, yet its uh, gaming experience can reach flagship level, all thanks to a chip from uh, Pixelworks, the uh, X7 Gen 2 visual processor. The Realme P4 series is designed specifically for the Indian market. Take the P4 Pro as an example. It comes with a 50 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, a massive 7000 mAh battery with 80 watt wire charging, a 144 Hz curved display, and an ultra slim body. Even its design bears a striking resemblance to the newly released iPhone 70 Pro series. As a mid range phone, it performs remarkably well. If there's a one shortcoming, it would be the uh, Snapdragon 7 Gen 4, which lacks a bit of a uh, raw power. But as I mentioned earlier, Realme has equipped the uh, device with a Pixelworks chip to make up for that final weakness. The X7 series of chips is probably no stranger to everyone as they have been used in models such as the uh, OnePlus 12 and Ace 3. However, the uh, Realme P4 series is probably the cheapest phone you can buy with the uh, Pixelworks X7 Gen 2. With the help of this chip, your phone can boost the frame rates to hundreds of games to as high as 144 FPS and increase the resolution to 1.5K. It can also convert SDR images to HDR, allowing every player to experience an ultimate level of gaming. So is the Pixelworks X7 Gen 2 really that magical? Can it truly elevate the gaming experience of a budget phone? Real-world testing is the best evidence this chip currently provides AI Hyper Motion, AI Hyper Clarity, and AI Always On HDR features for Genshin Impact, so uh, we chose this game for a test. The most important feature of the uh, Pixelworks X7 Gen 2, AI Hyper Motion, which is also called the uh, Frame Interpolation. For now, you can choose to enhance the frame rate up to 144. Running Genshin Impact at 144 frames on the Realme P4 Pro is no longer a difficult task for the X7 Gen 2. But apart from the average frame rate, there are many other data worth noting, such as a repeat FPS and a generated FPS. Both of these metrics can be measured using the PerfDoc testing tool. To make this possible, Pixelworks partnered with the PerfDoc to jointly develop the frame generation metric. This provides stronger data support for evaluating gaming performance and helps redefine the test standard for AI frame interpolation. You can see that the repeat FPS on the Realme P4 Pro is very low, with the maximum of only 4 FPS. This indicates that the X7 Gen 2 visual processor's interpolation success rate is very high, meaning you can hardly feel any stuttering. But the condition for achieving this effect is that uh, your graphics quality cannot be set too high. The Snapdragon 7 Gen 4 cannot generate enough frames under higher graphics settings, so when running at a high graphics with a very complex scenes, the interpolation function may fail. But this is not the problem of the Pixelworks X7 Gen 2. It is because the base frame rate at high graphics is insufficient, making it impossible for it to continue working. Simply put, the performance of the phone's processor affects its performance. However, lowering the graphics quality allows you to break free from the 60fps limitation and enjoying 144fps in most games is already far ahead of other phones at the same price. True geek players would also care about latency, screen tearing, and power consumption after enabling frame interpolation. Even when comparing the gameplay in slow motion before and after frame interpolation, it is almost impossible to notice any input delay. Screen tearing is also negligible. Even in a slow motion playback, it is hard to distinguish any difference from the original picture. It is certain that the AI hyper motion has almost no negative impact on gaming. If you don't want to interpolate to 144 FPS, you only want to stabilize the frame rates to reduce power consumption and the lower temperature, then you can enable the second option of the AI Hyper Motion. Here, we can compare the data before and after enabling this option, and the results are obvious. Whether it is average frame rate, starter count, or 1% low, the performance after enabling is significantly better than before. 
Power consumption does not change much and the temperature is much lower than when it is uh, not enabled. Because this option does not trigger interpolation, latency will certainly be lower than option 1. If you are playing PvP mobile games, I would uh, recommend enabling this option. Since the X7 Gen 2 can uh, perform free interpolation for games, of course it can also do so for videos. MEMC should be familiar to everyone and for sports fans who often watch matches on their phones, this is great news. I don't need to say much, just by looking at the uh, footage, you will know which one is the better choice. You can also enable AI Hyper Clarity and AI Always on HDR in games. The uh, details of the character and background models will increase and the contrast will also change slightly. There are also some changes that a screenshot cannot capture, such as uh, saturation is improved, which can be clearly seen when recording screen with a camera. After a bunch of tests, it can be proven that the Pixel Works X7 Gen 2 visual processor greatly enhances both the gaming and the video experience. Especially for gaming, phones equipped with this chip can break frame rate limits, achieve higher frame rates with lower power consumption and temperature. Currently, both the phones in the Realme P4 series have the Pixelworks X7 Gen 2 and the PvP games such as Battlegrounds in Mobile India and Free Fire also support all the features above. For viewers who want a good gaming experience without spending too much money, they are definitely worth considering. Alright, I'm Wei Fang from China. See you next time.